frogs. Whether you love them or hate them, they seem to have been on the internet for a long time. From their done on message boards to their presence everywhere nowadays, frogs have never been able to escape obscurity. But why is this? What is it about this little amphibian that continues to strike the hearts of those who embrace their lighthearted nature? What is the reason behind it all? And how has the frog managed to pull through all these years? I got curious about this topic a while back, but it wasn't until recently that my curiosity led me to researching. So in this video, I'll be looking through the history of frogs on the internet and just how they've managed to stay in the mainstream. The earliest known example of what would become a frog meme is Crazy Frog, who was animated in 2003 under the guise The Annoying Thing. It was later renamed after it was bought out by Ringtone Europe, but the original animator, Eric Vernkis, disapproved of the new name and the idea that his character was a frog. Nevertheless, the character would go on to attain meme status in 2009 with a music video for the Axel F remix. And that's about all I'm gonna go over, cause he's um, it's kinda hideous. In actuality, the first frog meme was Pepe the Frog, who first appeared in Matt Fury's 2005 comic Boys Club. This is also where his famous catchphrase, feels good man, would first be coined. A green anthropomorphic frog, Pepe continued to appear in Fury's subsequent work, sporting a positive agenda in a style that suited him and his readers. But it wasn't until 2008 when the character would reach its first spark of fame on platforms such as MySpace and 4chan where users applied the character to several different situations and emotions, and even gave him some color. As the years went by, many more uses of the character would see widespread use on places like Twitter and Tumblr, and by 2015, it would become one of the most prominent memes on the internet. The following year, another meme would emerge that would become synonymous with the frog subculture, Dad Boy. And he really stood out in the landscape, becoming one of the most recognizable memes of that year and cementing himself in internet history. This was convenient, given that Kermit the Frog was also seeing more attention around this time frame. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about Kermit since most people already recognize him, but during this time he seemed to be inescapable with the introduction of the Tea Lizard and Evil Kermit formats, the former sparking online debate and the latter becoming a haven of new ideas. However, this is where the story would change up a bit. Around the same time, Pepe would be swept into an unexpected controversy regarding its concerning use on the internet. I won't go into the whole ordeal because it would bring down the tone of this video, but if you want to learn more, there are plenty of videos and articles discussing the topic. Needless to say, the controversy was much to the dismay of Fury, saying in an interview with Esquire, it sucks, but I can't control it more than anyone can control frogs on the internet. It's believed that the controversy was so bad that Fury killed off his own character in response to what was happening. And maybe it was this, the final nail on the coffin, that frogs on the internet entered a stale period. Nothing new was being seen from these amphibians in anything, and creative ideas involving them had just stopped as a whole. It seemed now more than ever that frogs on the internet were becoming a thing of the past. But there was hope. Soon after, a Kickstarter was launched to make a new Pepe comic, in the hopes of putting the character into a better light. Along with this, Fury himself would be involved in several court cases defending the nature of his creation, and it may have been these actions that resurrected frog memes in a way no one was expecting. Fast forward to 2019, and out of nowhere, a surplus of frog content would sprout through different forms of social media, from known places such as Twitter to relatively new growing platforms such as TikTok. All of a sudden, frogs were seen in a lot of wholesome situations, and some of which even having queer undertones. It seemed that this year though, frog content sparked at an all-time high, with rises in trends such as Get Nenade, Baby Yoda, and my personal favorite, the froggy chair from Animal Crossing. Of which for this video i brought out my old 3ds and recorded myself buying the chair to put inside my home and i can see why it is such a crowd favorite soon after 2020 dawned on the world and unprecedented events halted its flow as hey 
So I realized midway through editing that YouTube's algorithms would likely flag this video if I directly mentioned the event. You probably already know what I'm talking about, but for the sake of complying, I'll just label it as the big bad event. All right, back to the video. Struck and many were forced to stay home for safety. It was during this period that frogs on the internet peaked to a level they hadn't seen before, with the frog chair from earlier skyrocketing in searches. Convenient given that the new Animal Crossing game saw huge amounts of success for Nintendo. Old characters were used in new situations, photos were given countless edits, videos and animations popped up where people could find them, and so much more. Although most of what is seen from frogs on the internet consists of real pictures, the essence of using them hasn't faded in the slightest. But why is this? Well, the simple answer is that there doesn't need to be one. At the beginning of this video, I asked the question of why frogs never seem to go into obscurity on the internet. And after seeing everything I could while researching this video, I came to a simple conclusion. People just like frogs. Frogs as animals just like to chill whenever they can, and it's that sense of immaculate vibing that really resonates with people. They intersect with a lot of ideas such as positivity and free expression, things that people strive for in the modern scene. Although they haven't had their brightest days, people found a way to turn it around and bring people together because of them. New ideas have risen during this period, and as long as people need an escape from reality during these trying times, frogs will continue to captivate those who embrace their lighthearted nature. And I have no doubt that they'll continue to stay in the mainstream for years to come. Oh, I forgot about these ones too. They're pretty cool, I guess.